Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jeff and Luke Welder. Woo! Jeff and Luke Welder, give them a round of applause. Yes. Where are you guys? There we go. Thank you, that was great. <laughs> so Luke, Luke take, Welder. Take it away. Thank yep. you. Loop Well, there is a project that will turn your videos into perfect loops. I thought, thought you were brothers, Jeff and Loop Welder. I, this, is why, this is why you don't make me, no. Look, okay, we won't do it again. <laughs> okay, Jeff, take it away. So guys, yeah. loops are great for all sorts of things, but today I'm going to show you a couple examples that are really real and they're a part of my life. Uh, an old, old friend of mine is a DJ, and he asked me to help him bring new people out to his shows, some, a younger audience. So some friends of mine at Adobe made this thing, Spark Post. I checked it out and I made this. Uh, it's pretty slick, it's very professional, it took a few seconds to make, and you know, I'm going to post it on Instagram, try to get some more people to come out. Um, but, it, you know, in reality, I feel like it needs a little bit more life. It needs, it needs something else going on to bring people out. Uh, so I found a stock video of a record player playing. It's perfect. It sort of has this old school theme, just like DJ old, school, old timer. And I want to use it as the background. So I'm going to run a uh, loop welder on it right now. And while it's running, I'm going to show you a result that I made myself manually. And I did that. Yeah, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Don't say. <laughs> so look, here's, here's the loop, and you can see it's pretty good, but there's a big problem with it. And that problem is that when a record plays, the playhead moves towards the center of the record, and when the video loops, you can see the, the playhead jump back out. So uh, let's go and take a look at what Loop Welder created. And again, take it, keep a close eye at the playhead, and you'll see that now what it's done is it's found that perfect looping point, but it made it, it made it seamless by hallucinating the backward motion of the playhead. So now, no matter when you look at this video, you'll, it'll be a perfect time to see it. It's like a stable moment in time. Woo! So much more eye-catching. Another, uh, oh, actually, I have another video here of DJ Oldtimer himself that I made. Uh, I'll just play that loop. <laughs> just jamming forever. <laughs> yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so uh, another related problem that video producers run into is that you'll go out and you'll record something, some B-roll or backplate or something, and when it comes time for production, you'll find that your clip is too short. Uh, and this, I ran into the same problem. I recorded a narration of somebody reading um, Ode to Bird Watching by Pablo Neruda. He's an epic poet. Anyway, the recording is about two and a half minutes, and I've got this here in uh, Premiere Pro, and I found this stock video of a bird uh, hanging out in a tree. And it's kind of perfect, but it's too short. So Loop Welder can obviously help with this. Again, I'm going to go ahead and um, run that uh, Loop Welder on it with a target duration of about two and a half minutes. And while it's running, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's doing. So Loop Welder will find not just one loop, but all of the loops. Um, and what we're seeing at the top here is just sort of the normal video player, right? You're seeing the progress go from left to right. Um, but what you see on top is all the different loops that it's found. And these semicircles are opportunities to hop back in time to you know, extend the length of the video. So if I were to just play like a three second loop for you know, two and a half minutes during a poem, you would definitely notice. But in this case, since it's reshuffling the content and playing all different parts of it, it's much harder to notice that it's, you know, it's reusing parts of the video. Thank you. So I'm going to just import this video just to prove to you it's the right length here. See, it's nice and long. I've got this bird hanging out in the tree for the perfect amount of time. So guys, like I said, there's lots of use cases for loops. Uh, you can use them in web, social, um, even you know, uh, professional video producing like I was just showing. Uh, I showed you how you can add life to your Spark posts or extend a video to any, any length.
Um, but I'm really excited to see how we can take this further with new creative ideas that we can all think of. Thank you. Thank you.